an NBA basketball game. We'll watch the Portland Trail Blazers in this one as they go up against the Washington Wizards. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Stoudemire attacking. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Here's Hughes. Thomas, a screen on Stoudemire. Here's Hughes. And the shot is good. Well, Clark, here we are, deep into the season. I'm guessing teams now are really getting fixated on the playoffs. Well, it certainly amps up your focus quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I imagine you don't think about anything else when you're part of a playoff team. No question it's what's on everybody's minds right now. This is where great players can really hurt you. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. free throws good for Pippen he's as solid as it gets from the line I mean give him the opportunity he's cashing in on those Hughes with it looking at his point production he averages almost 11 points a game Jordan that's for two off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt you know because Jordan is so spectacular sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked and he keeps it simple why get fancy when the pick and roll works like that now here's Randolph. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Here's Jordan. The rebound by Anderson. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Stoudemire the pass to Pippen. Six to shoot. Back to Stoudemire. Looks for Randolph. Gets it to him. Randolph can't get that one to fall. For Washington, they've gone. Two or three here to start out the game. Russell passes to Hughes. Over Stoudemire. Hughes, good. Hughes got his second basket of the game. Yeah, Brian Russell is a shoot-first player, but he's also very unselfish. Did a nice job with the read and made a good pass. Pass to Pippen. Anderson outside. Pass to Randall. Not going to go that time. Excellent D from Thomas. Jordan outside. Pass to Russell. And here is Jordan. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Yeah, and one thing about Hughes, that man is always ready to shoot it. And the Trailblazers with possession here after the basket by Washington. Russell against Patterson. Back to Stoudemire. Kicks it to Patterson. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Portland no good that time either. Wizards leading by six. Relentless effort there from Russell. He runs into some close defense and just keeps pushing. The Wizards shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys.
first free throw is good. A solid defender and three-point shooter out on the wing. Russell's skill set to fit on any roster. And so Russell hits them both. Trailblazers trail by eight. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to Sacramento. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances. Competed deep into that game. But had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And, you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch. Those are hard to get over sometimes. Anderson kicks to Stoudemire. Anderson outside. Back to Stoudemire. Six on the shot clock. Randolph sets a screen for Stoudemire to end the cold streak. And Zach Randolph, the bucket on the assist by Stoudemire. I like watching Randolph go to work. I mean, he's a real problem when he's involved in pick and rolls. Now, Jordan, his last outing with 20 points. Here's Hughes. Connects in the foul line jumper. Hughes got eight points. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Now, here's Randolph. Last game we saw him score 14. Stoudemire, no good. Washington leading now by eight. 133 left in the first. The pass to Jordan. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Anderson outside. Passes to Randall. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it up and in. Randolph's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, as a former rebounder myself, I love the aggressiveness on the glass. Randolph is showing absolute determination grabbing those boards. Now here's Jordan. On the wing, Hughes. The screen from Brown. The shot by Hughes, no good. Trailblazers trail by six. 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Stoudemire. Over Hughes. Offensive rebound. Randall. Thomas with the block. And they get it back. Yep, that one goes. Wizards leading by four. Lobs it up for Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. No doubt about the brilliance of Jordan as a player. Outstanding and knowing when to go get that alley-oop. Anderson, a screen on Hughes. Stoudemire, bounce pass. Here's Randolph. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And that does it for the first quarter. It's the Wizards up by four. Live from the Rose Garden, you're watching 2K Sports. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. 
And taking a look at the Wizards' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Following the miss by Michael Jordan. Here is Daniels. Eight points his last outing. Good on the triple. Wells has got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Trailblazers. Here's Lou. Pass to Jeffries. And Greg, of course, the big story again this year, Michael Jordan coming back into the league. And he showed it in his first year back. He still has it. You wonder if this might be the last run, though. Still always a treat to watch the GOAT play. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Here's Lou, still without a basket. Jeffries dishes to Jordan. Five on the clock. Count that one. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Portland trailing here. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Woods the pass to Randall. Daniels with it. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. The shot's good from Randall. You look at his technique, his physicality, his skill being left-handed. Randolph routinely beats up defenders down low. Now here's Jordan. Six points for him. Screen by Jordan. Jeffries, the pass to Leitner. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots from the high post. Almost, but it rolls out. For Portland, they've gone a nice three of three to start the second. Daniels kicks to Wells. And here's Daniels. Randolph a screen on Jordan. That one falls. Now it's a three-point trailblazer lead. Right there, Randolph doing a good job opening up space for the shooter with the solid screen. Jordan passes to Jeffries. Jordan the screen. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Zach Randolph. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Blazers? How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another. And that can be infectious. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. A free throw drops for Jeffries. Both teams will make substitutions. So he makes both from the line. And for those of you just joining us we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Jordan against Stoudemire. Now here's Patterson. Coming in off a 10-point game his last outing. Lock at six. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Portland shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
That free throw good from Patterson for the Trailblazers. Sabonis, he's checked in for Randolph. And it's Anderson in for Wells. Lou, he's checked in for Washington. Hughes comes in for Jordan. He's off on the second. The Wizards have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Russell. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Pippen. Patterson against Hughes. They grab their own miss. Here's Pippen and the slam dunk by Pippen. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound. Here's Lou. Scoreless thus far. Here's Hughes. Here's Thomas. Drops in the layup for two. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Now, here's Pippen. Shoots over Brown. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. This is a shot Pippen is very comfortable with. He's extremely effective in the mid-range. Thomas is screen on Stoudemire. Here's Hughes. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major. Or it could be just a slight tweak. About the Randolph's checked in for Portland. Cody. And a switcher also for Washington. Jordan's checked in. Stoudemire finds Randolph. Stoudemire outside. Outside Pippen. Goes up on the wing. Rebound by the Wizards. Thomas got six rebounds now in the game. Jordan the pass to Hughes. Back to Jordan. Here's the three. Rebound by Pippen. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Great D that time from Jordan. Years. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Russell passes to Hughes. Mm -hmm. The screen from Brown. Outside Jordan. The high post shot. Here's Thomas. And Thomas with the stuff. Go ahead, rise up and throw it down, big fella. If he wanted to, he could have ripped that rim right out of the stanchion. Anderson outside. the pass to Randall. Thomas with the block. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. And so Jordan will bring it up for Washington. That'll be game four of this six-game road trip. On the wing, it's Larry Hughes for the lead. That one rolling around and rims out. And for Portland, they're shooting about 42% so far. Passes it to Stoudemire. Misses the three. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now, here's Thomas. He averages a bit over six points a game. Here's Dottemeyer. 
Anderson outside. Back to Stoudemire. Russell against Patterson. Pass to Randall. And the foul called on Larry Hughes. That is his first foul of the game. Patterson against Russell. Randolph sets a screen for Patterson. From the right block, the shot is good. Patterson's got it all tied up now for Portland. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. So timeout called here. The first for the Wizards. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out east. The season nearly complete. You look at Washington. Unless they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. And, and well, for Washington, with the regular season they've enjoyed, it, it has to be wondered at this point if they're the team to beat this postseason. You know, the way they've handled just about every challenge that's been thrown at them this year, I don't see how they couldn't be considered front runners for the well, title. There ain't none left. Here's Hughes. <laughs> He's got 10. Brown with a screen on Stoudemire. Hughes the pass to Brown. Good work defensively by Pippen. Stoudemire against Hughes. Stoudemire kicks to Patterson. A shot by Stoudemire, no good. The Wizards have gone one of three since starting the second half. Down low, and the slam dunk by Russell. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now here's Stoudemire. I saw Nothing that the Solo board. has not won a match since he beat John Cena in Saudi Arabia. Carries the long-range jumper. And the yeah. Trailblazers lead by one. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Jordan Sorry, you tell the Rock to cancel his next Here's movie Hughes. and you Makes have him there his for sixth a whole of the night. year. You Shooting have a whole year of youth set up for him. Easy little jumper for him right he there, He has guys. to do Cody one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sorry. They've done too much not to have Here's a one-on-one -on -one match. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Anderson's got his first basket of the night for Washington. They've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Jordan, the pass to Hughes. Here's like Brown. He can fight Wizards Seth, he can passing fight it around. Punk, and you finish Jordan with, with it. Roman somehow. Now by Anderson. Here's Hughes. Randolph grabs the board. Yeah. Randolph's got six rebounds in the game. Yeah, no, they should. Stoudemire outside. Yeah, he's doing that movie, so he, if he comes Pippen. back, it's probably not going to be for like no summer good from outside. Washington trailing. Even if he had him just cut the promos the and third. paste them into the fucking show. Portland's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And Patterson kicks to Stoudemire. Like we need you two times a month from August Inside. to fucking WrestleMania. Here's Pippen <laughs> over Hughes, and it's Pippen missing. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Passes it to Hughes. Because the character's too good not to have him on TV. Shot from 16, and finished off by Brown. Brown knew exactly what he was doing there and executed the pick and roll perfectly. Now a timeout called by Portland. So you think Cody's going to call in Cena and Austin? The Trailblazers making a switch here. Sabonis has checked in. And a change for the Wizards. Lou, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. Portland trailing they here. They said there's a reason why they use those two trucks. Stoudemire outside. There's they 154 they left to play so in the third. And Cena's and kind Kawhi of been teasing he's going to be the there foul. too. So. That's foul number two for him. So both teams changing Cody's it up here. Get his Avengers. <laughs> A 
A minute 50 left to play in the third. Stoudemire outside. Five to shoot. And here's Anderson from the arc. Hits it from three-point range. Anderson's got I five think he points waits now the whole year. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ball game. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. On the wing, Hughes. But you never know. You figure they're going to drop the tag titles in that ladder, man. 121 left in the third. The so second chance say, effort. Fuck it. And the layup good go by Brown. <laughs> Brown's got the game tied up here for the Wizards. Physical move by Brown to protect the rock and then get the put back to go. Pass to Patterson. Rebounded by the Wizards. Pass to Lou. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Just his first attempt. Here's Leitner. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the Wizards lead by two. And how about the aggressiveness there from Leitner? Just pounding away on the offensive glass. Here's Patterson. Sabonis with the bucket. Sabonis has got his first bucket of the night. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Here's Lou. Hasn't made one yet. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems I to mean, me the as only though he's reason he doesn't he win be pressing, if they want him to hard, break Hogan's fast. record. That's Just the only reason. He needs to calm reason. himself down and wait for good shots. The pass to Patterson. He, Roman would have to hold the title for like some time. And that some would time have time. counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. It's all tied in Portland. But if they're talking and Cody we're Roman. back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action. If they're talking we Cody return. Roman three for SummerSlam, then yeah, Cody's got to win this time. I just don't like how Roman has been the champ all this time and he hasn't done shit in this feud. And I know I speak <laughs> for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Daniels passes to Wells. Back to Daniels. I have a feeling Rock's going to get hurt. Passes it to Woods. He's gotten hurt his last couple matches. I have a feeling Randolph he's going to get around. hurt again. He's too fucking big. Wells kicks to Randolph. Here's a bonus. Goes back up. And when Wells stays in control of his emotion, now he plays with a lot of energy and a bit of an edge. He's really terrific. A free throw drops for Wells. Yeah, I think they're going to wait till Mania. It's this close. Yeah. And Wells drops them both. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. A two-point game. Has to lose. Now, here is Haywood. <laughs> Left side, Jordan. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Wells passes to Daniels. Pass to Woods for three. No good. Shot missing. Washington shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Jeffries. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Portland's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. To the wing right side. Tips it. And the second chance effort by Randolph. Randolph's got the lead up to four now for the Trailblazers. 
cutting into that deficit now well within striking distance. Boy, time to tighten it up on defense. A stop here would be huge. Here's Jeffries, and that one drops for him. Portland has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Daniels passes to Randall. Misses the layup. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Jordan, the good-looking shot from the wing. And that ties it up. And we know Jordan is a master from the mid-range. Whether he's squared up or falling away, you feel like it's going to splash. Daniels kicks to Wells. So bonus is screen on Jordan. For a barbed wire Here's baseball Wells. Bat and Mike it doesn't and go for him. WWE Good D by Jordan. Boy, put that shit in the game. A miss that time would have put him up. Trailblazers have gone just barbed wire baseball the field and the fourth and A bit of a slowdown for them right now. A shot by Wells, no good. The Wizards have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Lou can't get it to go. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Washington calls timeout. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Aton Thomas is checked in for Haywood. Brown comes in for Leitner. Ryan Russell is checked in for Jared Jeffers. And Larry Hughes is subbed in for Lou. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, Doug Collins was just reviewing things with his team. Now he's encouraging them to keep attacking in the paint. He said, when we get inside, we score. Simple as that. Keep attacking and don't settle for anything that's not at the rim. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. Here's Hughes. Brown with a screen on Stoudemire. And again, Washington, no good. Anderson outside. Now the pass to Pippen. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his sixth rebound on the night. Stoudemire against Hughes. Pass to Russell. The Wizards working the ball around now. Pass to Jordan. Shot clock at five. Over Anderson. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got it all tied up now for Washington. It is a given. Jordan loves delivering in these big moments. When it's an important possession, he wants the ball and the shot. Here's Randolph. Rebounded by the Wizards. Thomas got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Hughes the pass to Jordan. Thomas sets a screen for Jordan. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. And the wing jumper offline. Portland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Anderson can't get it to go. Wizards have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Pass to Jordan. A fader. Jordan can't get that one to fall. And that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway where nobody's guarding you. You know, there are only a few guys that you can really trust taking that shot. Pippen is one of those guys. Washington Trail. 105 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Jordan down low. Working on Anderson. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on Zach Randall. Down the clutch free throw. And how 
big was that? He is just so reliable, so confident at the free throw line. Anderson is screen on Hughes. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth. Stoudemire outside. To the inside. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. And there's the pass to Jordan. Over Anderson. Yes! Well, Jordan has been fantastic. There's 31 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Yeah, this isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. They've got to go all out trying to force a turnover here. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're down by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. Anderson a screen on Hughes. Left side Randolph. Back to Stoudemire. Six on the shot clock. It's in! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Shoot the two. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. Hey, anytime the game's on the line, Jordan is exactly the guy I wanted to strike. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Yeah, those free throws make things a little more simpler right now. They just have to guard against the three-pointer. Pippen, no luck. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. the first one boy he wanted that one to fall boy just not serviceable at the line and it is a glaring weakness on the back of Brown's basketball car so he comes up empty at the line oh he gets it to go what? it counts what a shot just when you think the game is over he's able to knock it down from deep Unbelievable and sending it to OT on that kind of buzzer beater will give them, I think, a huge lift heading into the extra session. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime from the Rose Garden in Portland, Oregon. We're back in a moment. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. Now Hughes. Brown outside. Passes to Russell. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Anderson's got four rebounds in this game. Seven foot shot. And that one goes long. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Hughes with it. Pass to Brown. They 
takes it off the glass. Brown's got the first basket here in overtime for the Wizards. Savvy dime by Hughes, not sleeping on that chance to set up another guy. Randolph sets a screen for Pippen. Dishes to Randolph. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Randolph's got the game tied up here for Portland. Jordan against Anderson. Jordan right side. That one misses. Good work defensively by Pippen. Stoudemire right side. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. For Washington, they've gone one of three from the floor since the start of overtime. Short. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. A little over a minute and a half gone now here in overtime. Here's Pippen to take the lead. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Hughes against Anderson. Here is Hughes. Second chance shot. Goes up again. And finally they hit one. And the Wizards lead by two. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second chance points. Here's Stoudemire. Off target from three-point range. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. Thomas is screen on Stoudemire. Pass to Jordan. Him. The rebound by Patterson. And overtime has come down to this. They need at least two points, or you can kiss this baby goodnight. Back to Stoudemire. Stoudemire setting the pick for Pippen. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at six. Can't cash in. Boy, he's got sandpaper in his game. He's a real presence on the floor. Great grit. Randolph loves battling down low. Drops the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. This guy is reliable and always answers the bell. Randolph's best ability is his availability. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And an intentional foul right there. the first and that will put them up by two you know the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive that's obvious in my mind he wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor and he hits both free throws here so now it's a three-point game now a timeout called by Portland they trail by three there's 10 seconds left in the first overtime what do you think guys and if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to <laughs> score the ball.
Hughes against Stoudemire. The pass to Patterson. A three from Anderson. Can't get the three to fall. And so it's Washington who scraped by with the win. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and, and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.